So it's come to my attention that I have never talked about this game. And it's actually one of my favorite uh, games in this series, like, ever. It's actually one of my favorite uh, games on on that system, which is the Sega Genesis. Uh, it's it's great. You know, while everybody was talking about the fourth one that was on Super Nintendo, which is a good one too, but I fell in love with this one. So with that being said, let's talk Castlevania Bloodlines. Can we talk Castlevania Bloodlines? Let's talk Castlevania Bloodlines. So Castlevania Bloodlines is a game, I believe it came out in 1994, if I remember correctly, for the Sega Genesis. Mega Drive, however you want to call it. Um, unless you were playing the European one, then it's called Castlevania The New Generation. Um... Yeah, it, uh, wow, that's all I can say. So it's a one-player game where you get to choose between two characters. One is called John Morris, who swings a whip. Yeah, that's not surprising in this series, is it? The other character is Eric Lacard, or Lacarde, however, I don't know how you, I don't know how you say it. But anyway, he fights with a spear. He's also a descendant of the Belmonts. So basically, this what separates... Castlevania Bloodlines from the other Castlevanias is that rather than just taking place in, in Castlevania, I mean, uh, in uh, Transylvania, or like the later ones after Symphony of the Night taking place in the entirety of the game inside of Castlevania, you actually, it takes place throughout all of Europe. You know, like uh, you start off in, in like Transylvania or like Romania, I think it is. You end up in like Germany, you end up in, in, in Italy. Dude, you even play in Atlantis. You know what I mean? So, like, that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, it, 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 man, it, this game has so many good things to it. So, let's just get right into it. The pros of this game. The pros. Uh, it has really nice visuals and graphics for the time. Um, the music is so good. Like, it, it is... People like to say that the Sega Genesis had no good music. I... What games are you playing? Like, there's a lot of really good music in... in, in uh, the, the Sega Genesis library, you know, like this is a perfect example. I mean, the the first level's music, um, Castle Dracula level, is so badass. I've heard that song, that theme played in a lot of uh, different games. You know, like it's you know, I know I, I know that they played in the Castlevania Adventure game, which is also really good, or Rebirth, I think it's called. It was on the Wii. No one's a, I should talk about that one one day. That's a good ass game. The gameplay is, is easy. It's not that hard to pick up. You know, it's it's not hard really to play. It's a fun game. And I like how both characters are so drastically different. You know, sometimes when you get a game and they have like um, different characters, there there isn't much of a difference to them. You know what I mean? It, it, it's more aesthetical. But here they're vastly different. You know, John plays so much more meat and potatoes, bare bones, whereas Eric is more simplified, more... I guess uh, athletic would be a good word? No, how would I call it? I guess what I'm trying to say is both characters are so drastically different and each one has like their own paths that they can take in each level which makes the game have pretty good uh, replay value. Another pro is uh, the character designs, like the animation, the way they look, the, you know, um, the sprites, I guess you want to call it, are really impressive. They're really, really good. Um, the cons of this game. Um, I can't think of any, honestly. Not at all. Um, I guess if I had to pick a con, it would be the holy water sucks in this game, considering how fucking amazing it is in all the other Castlevanias. Like, the holy water is really good in the, in the first Castlevania. In Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest, I mean, you use it to find secrets left and right. And in Castlevania 3, it's also really good. Um, in Part 4, it's good too. Like, the holy water is really good of a weapon. And this one's just kind of lame. Another con in the game is... No, actually, I can't think of any cons. Like, no, I, I've seen people say this game is really hard. It's not. It's not that hard. If you play Castlevanias, and this is not that hard. It's pretty easy to pick up and play. So let's get to the nitty gritty. What do I give Castlevania Bloodlines? You know what? You can call me biased if you want. You can say that because uh, I grew up with it. You could say it's not fair, but I give it a five out of five. Castlevania Bloodlines is such a well-rounded game. It is easily one of my favorite in the series. So have you played Castlevania Bloodlines? If you have, let me know what you think in the, in the comments. I would, I'm really curious to see what your thoughts are on this game. And if you haven't, go play it. 
Seriously, go check it out. It is definitely worth your time, especially if you're a Castlevania fan. It is definitely one of the criminally overlooked games. Like, it should get more attention than it does, sadly, but it's definitely worth your time. Like, trust me, you will love it if you give it a chance. So I want to thank you guys once again for checking out this review. My name is George Elias, occasional YouTuber and your friend. And as always, share this video with a friend, tell a friend to tell a friend. And if you need a friend, I'm always here. You can come over and we can play Castlevania Bloodlines. You can choose whether you want to be John Morris or Eric LeCard. And you tell me what you think about it. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys next time, all right? Take care.